Okay, so have you ever been scrolling on Instagram and then, you know, an ad pops up and you think, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to try that. Well, that's pretty much exactly what happened to me last week, so let's talk about it. I never run unless I want to be ahead of some Passing everyone so fast I surpassed the peloton Walking under sweaty sun That's why I carry heavy bun So for the past few months I've been, you know, scrolling my feed And every once in a while I'll get this ad pop up on my screen And you know, I'm not like really a licorice guy Like when it comes to like candy Like definitely not Honestly even on my top 10 <laughs> As far as like specific candies go Like I can't, like it's I'm not like a, uh, oh, I could really go for a Twizzler or a Red Vine sounds great. I'd just rather have like a Reese's or a Snickers, personally. But, so, seeing that ad, I was like, okay, that's kind of interesting. Like, I like uh, Blue Raspberry and Watermelon. And then I saw that that company also had a Blue Raspberry kind of the same candy. Or the same, li like, sour licorice. And so, I, I once I get that Blue Raspberry ad, I'm like, alright, let me see what else they got. So, I start scrolling their feed, as you can see here. And uh, all their stuff looks pretty interesting. So... I was in a call with my friends and I thought, fuck it, I'm gonna just buy this licorice. So I go to their website to, you know, pick up a thing and they only sell licorice by the pound. I don't know who the fuck is eating pounds of licorice, but I mean, I guess I am. We'll get into that later. But anyway, so I didn't want to buy a pound of something I've never tried because obviously that's going to be a lot of <laughs> fucking licorice. So my friend Drew, he's look, he's like on the website with me because I told him about this and he's like, hey, they got sampler packs, like quit tripping. So I go and look at the sampler packs and sure enough, there's a sampler pack with the watermelon sour and the blue raspberry, which are the two that I just really wanted to try. Um, and then there was like a strawberry kind, which I mean, I like strawberries and strawberry flavored things. So I guess I'll try that out. But then there's sampler packs. So they're half pound containers, which is better than the full pound, but it comes with six containers per sampler. So I'm still getting three pounds of licorice. But oh well, at least they're different kinds. So here's what they came in. And today we're going to see if I regret spending my money, my hard-earned cold cash on this licorice that, you know, was an ad. And see if the ad was worth it. So I got six tubs of licorice to try. They're all sour variants. Um... Full disclosure, I've tried uh, the ones that I wanted to try already, like the watermelon and the blue raspberry. So we're going to save those for last. And I hope I didn't waste my money. <laughs> so the six flavors we have to try are a strawberry, watermelon, blue raspberry of the sour, excuse me, sour twist um, version. Sarah's favorite, which is very vague and I have no idea what the hell that is. Again, this is a sampler. Um, Dutch rainbow sours, I'm, I'm imagining they'll taste exactly like um airhead extremes and then we got sweet and sour petites which honestly sounds interesting so honestly we're gonna start with that so this is what they look like i hope it's focused because i can't see because i didn't want to be staring into my monitor the whole time so this one doesn't look too bad doesn't look intimidating at all really down the hatch that's way better than the other two i've tried already it's just like very sweet like i wouldn't go for that like ev every night but I would definitely, I might buy like a pound of that once all of this is gone. Like that's like a definite maybe out of 10, we'll go 10 being like, I have to buy another one. One being I'm never touching the stuff again. That's honestly like an eight. Honestly, let's just bang all these out. Cause this video does not need to be too long about me wasting. This was, so for these, for these six sampler packs, and then that being three pounds of licorice, it was like $48 or something like that. Because on their website at the time that I bought it, they had like a 20 or 20% off. Normally, this is $52, which I would not spend $52 on all of this. I'm just going to say that flat out. Again, not a sponsored video, even though I'm pretty sure I showed their like container up close with their website logo. I bought this with my own money. We got the Rainbow Sweeties. And again, I'm expecting this to taste exactly like an Airhead Extreme, and I'm disappointed if it tastes like anything else. Ow. This one's like hard. I'm getting sugar all over my desk. That one, honestly, it's very sour at the end, and it tastes exactly like an Airhead Extreme. Nine out of 10. This is the vague one, Sarah's favorite. Let's see if the, this bitch got good taste. I don't mean bitch. I'm sure she's a nice lady. Very similar. It looks like, a, honestly, a combination of the previous two. I don't really know what I'm expecting other than lots of flavor, I guess. Oh, what the fuck? 
No. I don't know how to describe that other than just bad. That's not good. It's like a three. Honestly, the first number that came into my head was a four, but this is definitely gonna be the last jar or container that I uh, try or finish. My bad. Strawberry sours. This is the only one that I haven't tried yet. Full well, out out of the uh, three sour twists. Okay, so I can't really tell, but they're like filled with like a fluidy gel thing. I don't really know how to describe it. But uh, this is the strawberry sour twist down the hatch. Honestly, it tastes like those like strawberry hard candies that like, you know, how their wrapper looks like a strawberry. Yeah, that's like a that's like a six or six and a half, seven. We'll go seven on that one. That's pretty good. Blue raspberry. I hope the autofocus on my camera has been working for this. If not, it's a waste of time. But if so, hell yeah. Blue raspberry is like one of my favorite flavors. So again, I said I've already tried this, so I'm just snacking at this point. But this one honestly isn't good. Well, I wouldn't say that. It's just not the kind of blue raspberry that you're typically expecting. It's like if you took a Twizzler and wrapped it in a blue gusher. This is how I would describe that. Take that for uh, what you will. Last but not least, watermelon. Like, okay. The watermelon flavor is very hard to describe, but it's very much the same, like, like, like gooey inside, like, wrapped basically like a gusher. I don't know. It's difficult to describe the watermelon because it's. I would describe it as, I guess, more of a tropical watermelon than, like, a sweet Jolly Rancher kind. Which, I mean, I fuck with pretty much all kinds of watermelon, so... This will probably be, like, a next movie snack, honestly. Like, when I go see um, Oppenheimer or something like that. So, overall review of, I guess, licorice.com licorice. I would say only get it if you're, like, a big licorice head. Like, you really fuck with licorice. Because um, if you're like me and you just, like, kind of do... Kind of feel like I wasted my money. But that's just, like, I know I'm not appreciating the licorice for, like, what it is. Because I don't like licorice that much. I wouldn't say I'm unhappy that I, like, got all of this stuff to try. Because, again, like I said at the beginning of the video, I've been staring at these ads for months. And... I knew I was gonna have to finally try it, but I'm definitely glad I didn't like just go out and go all out and buy a pound of just the watermelon because I know I would get sick of it by the time I got to the bottom. I mean, I liked half of them, so worth it, I guess. I mean, it's a sampler, so you're supposed to find out which ones you do like, so. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm call it semi worth it, but I definitely won't be buying anything from these people again. So take that for what it's worth. Um. But that being said, I'm going to go now. If you guys enjoyed what you saw at any point today, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube bullshit. Um, I'll be back on Monday with another gaming video, probably Elden Ring. So I'll see you then. Hey! Bye.